The purpose of this video is to illustrate how to recover passwords on wireless LAN controllers. The procedure to recover the password on a wireless LAN controller will vary depending on the version of firmware running on the controller. When you use versions 5.1 or later, you can use a CLI from the serial console of the controller in order to configure a new username and password. For all older versions of the controller, the only option is to default the controller to factory settings and reconfigure it from scratch. Alternatively, if you use a Cisco wireless control system in order to manage the controller, you should be able to access the controller from the WCS and create a new admin user without logging into the controller. Let's now begin with the procedure to restore passwords on controllers that run the older firmware versions. As I mentioned previously, the only way to recover passwords in the older versions of the controller is by resetting the controller to factory default configuration. There are two methods to reset the configuration to factory defaults. We'll discuss both the methods in this video. In our illustration, we use a 4400 controller that runs version 5.0.148.0. In order to reset the configuration on the controller to factory defaults, we need to reboot the controller. Once the controller is rebooted, the boot process on the controller starts. During the boot process, the user will be prompted with additional boot options. You can access the additional boot options by pressing escape button when prompted. As you can see, there are 5 boot options that are available. To reset the configuration on the controller, choose Clear Configuration. Once you enter this option, the controller is reset to factory default settings. After the reset, the controller automatically enters the CLI startup wizard and you are prompted for the startup configuration which includes the new username and password. You can complete the startup configuration wizard and access the controller with the new username and password. There is another method which will accomplish the same result. The procedure is very similar to the previous method. Here again, we start by rebooting the controller. After rebooting the controller, instead of using the additional boot options presented during the boot process, we'll wait till the boot process completes. Once the boot process completes, we are presented with a username prompt. Now we enter the command recover-config at the user prompt on the controller. This command works only the first time it's entered after the controller is rebooted. When this command is entered, the controller will reboot and all the configurations made on the controller will be erased and will reset to its default configuration. When the controller comes back after reboot, you will again be presented with the CLI startup wizard and you are prompted for the startup configuration which includes the username and password. You can complete the startup configuration wizard and access the wireless LAN controller with the new username and password. Let us now look at how to recover passwords on wireless LAN controllers that run versions 5.1 and later. With controller versions 5.1 and later, to recover the password, you don't have to reset the controller to its factory defaults. Instead, a new command restore-password has been introduced which allows the user to reconfigure the passwords. Let's now quickly look at a demo. In our illustration, we use a 4400 controller that runs version 6.0.188.0. The first step in this procedure is again to reboot the controller. After the boot process completes 
enter the command restore-password at the user prompt. This command, like the recover password command, works only the first time it's entered after the controller is rebooted. Once you enter the command, you're prompted to enter a new username and password. After you configure the new username and password, you can use the new credentials to log into the controller. I hope you found this video useful and I'm sure you'd agree that the procedure to recover passwords on wireless LAN controllers is pretty simple and straightforward.